back to my channel so if you read the title then you already know that this video is going to be about tips on how to upgrade your home for cheap so if you're interested in getting some tips on how to make your home look all jazzed up and all expensive and stuff for cheap then keep on watching so the first tip i have is paint paint can change the whole entire look of your home um, if you're ever considering, you know, trying to buy, uh, sell your home and get a new home, or you just want to like tear out all your cabinets or tear out all your walls and redo your walls or, or hang new cabinets, do not even go that route before trying to paint because paint can change the whole look of a home. I myself was going through that, um, stage of where I wanted to just sell my home and get a new home because I'm all on Pinterest, all on Instagram pages looking at homes and all of these beautiful homes. And I'm like, I want my home to look like that. You know what I mean? But I don't want to go through the whole selling and buying, buying process of, you know, getting a new home. So what I decided to do was try to do some DIY upgrades for myself. And I started out with paint. So um, I decided to paint my cabinets uh, white. If you guys, um, seen my previous vlog then you, you guys know i've already been start i've already started doing um little small upgrades to my home so i would suggest trying paint y'all paint can change the entire look of a home you hear me an entire look like my house um before i painted was like a brown like brown and like a mustard color it looked dark it looked dead it just i i did not like it at all so what i decided to do was paint go with a lighter color i decided to paint my home gray um and white and it just brightened up my home so much um it changed the whole entire look so consider trying paint the second tip i have for you guys is lighting you want to change your lighting if your bulbs and stuff in your house is dark please change those out to like the led lights or the um you know the, just the bright white um light bulbs lighting can change the entire look of a, a home as well and when i say lighting i mean like you know lighting like um you could do stuff like um they have the led lights now where you can put around your tv i put the put that around my tv in my living room and it looks really 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 nice um i put a lamp and just one simple lamp in my living room and it changed the entire look um you know change out your light fixtures and all that kind of stuff all of this stuff is pretty much you know cheap you may think it's expensive but just think about buying a brand new home or getting someone to come in and completely like renovate your home that is going to be so expensive so try these little you know diy hacks and it will change the look of your house so i would suggest trying lighting as well y'all the third tip I have is um, changing out your doorknobs. Like doorknobs and door hinges and all that kind of stuff really make a difference. Like people really don't understand. Um, just the small things like that makes diff makes a difference. Um, I um, haven't changed my doorknobs on my um, doors yet, but I do want to do that. But I did um, change out the door the um, the knobs on my cabinets, and I actually have the set that I have that I got here. This is a crystal set. Y'all look how elegant and classy they look like. Girl, listen. That is so... And as you guys can see, the brand Better Homes has come from Walmart. So, yeah, like, what? Girl, if you don't go to Walmart and look up and get some stuff, go down the hardware aisle. And I guarantee you, you will come out of Walmart with so much, so many ideas and so many things and... I'm telling y'all, it will make a difference in your home. So, yes, try changing out the knobs. You don't have to get this specific kind. You can go to Lowe's, and Lowe's has a a whole aisle full of knobs. I didn't personally didn't go to, uh, to Lowe's because I already knew what I wanted to do. Um, so, yeah, just uh, try Lowe's. I mean, yeah, try Lowe's, Home Depot, those kind of places. They have, like, aisles full of, you know, knob, uh, cabinet knobs and door knobs and door hinges and stuff like that. So, just try that, yeah. And it most definitely will change the look of your house. The next tip I have, y'all, this may be more than five tips because as I'm talking, I'm thinking of more stuff. And the more I think of, the more I want to share with you guys. The next tip I have is knockoffs, y'all. Knockoffs. Do not be trying to go buy all of this expensive stuff when they always have a knockoff brand for it. Um, 
my backsplash is knockoff, y'all. I was not gonna just never gonna pay the uh <laughs> the price of getting um real backsplash in my kitchen. So what I did was I went to Home Depot, and Home Depot has the peel and stick backsplash. And when I tell you guys, it looks so real. It looks real. I've had people come to my home and it's like, when you had somebody come in and install backsplash, it's stick and peel, honey. <laughs> it's stick and peel. I got it from Home Depot. It come in a pack of four. Um, I'm not really sure about the uh, dimensions on it. I have, I will have it below um, because I'm pretty sure I threw the boxes and stuff away. But I will uh, have all of the, uh, inf the, the entire description of the backsplash that I use down below. So you guys can go to Home Depot and check it out. I think the price of it was like... Uh, I think it was about 20 bucks for a four pack. And I think, yeah, it was like 20, 20 bucks for a four pack. My kitchen isn't that big. So I didn't have to use that many packs. I think I only had to use about four packs and they covered the uh, my entire kitchen. Um, another thing is uh, they also have the stick and peel floors, you guys. You know, they have stick and peel floors. So if you have carpet in your house and you're considering upgrading to um, hardwood floors, we all know hardwood floors can be hella expensive, y'all. Even the laminate floors can be hella expensive. Check out Home Depot. They have the stick and peel um, hardwood floors. Like, you know, of course, it's not real hardwood, but it, it looks like hardwood. It's just stick and peel if you just want to get that carpet out your house. Because, baby, if you like me, I hate carpet. My kids and carpet do not mix. So, I have to get all the carpet up out of my house. I currently have, like, two more rooms to pull up. That is another thing that you can do to um, make your home look exp uh, expensive or cheap. Another uh, thing you can change out in your home is your faucets, y'all. Faucets make up a big difference too um i changed out my faucets in my kitchen and i changed out my faucet in my um kids bathroom i haven't changed my faucet out yet but i am gonna do that pretty soon changing out your faucets y'all that can upgrade your home like and make it look new you know what i mean so try that as well you go in your bathroom and you look around and like just buying little stuff like little racks and decor stuff also can you know change we all know decor can make a room look good <laughs> we already know that so um uh, consider like buying changing out your faucets and buying you know picking up little cheap um uh, home decor items um another the next tip i have is shopping at dollar general i know everybody know what dollar general is because baby they are nationwide and you you can't drop five miles without pa passing a dollar general everybody has at least two or three dollar generals within 10 miles of them dollar general is i don't know if it slept on y'all i don't know if y'all sleeping on dollar general but i'm not sleeping on dollar general because they have some nice stuff in there y'all i went in there the other day and i was like i didn't bring my um my wallet or anything in there i just had enough cash to, to go in there and get what exactly what i said i was going there to get but i did however i did look around and i saw some really nice stuff and i was like i have to come back here because listen sis this little stuff here five dollars for this little picture um ten dollars for this shelf i could put this here i could put this y'all check dollar general out because dollar general has some really nice home decor items and those items can make your house look really nice the next tip i have is um shopping at flea markets antique shops goodwill like those kind of places y'all you know already know they have that furniture in there for cheap y'all let me tell y'all spend a little time spend a little time if you want to save money you're gonna have to spend time y'all i'm just telling you that now you're gonna have to spend your time if you're gonna save money because if you're gonna use the paint you're gonna have to do it yourself unless you're gonna pay somebody then Painters can be very expensive, and I can see why, because it's a very hard job. <laughs> um, go to the Goodwill, go to the antique shops, go to the flea market, and see if you can find furniture for really cheap and flip it. When I say flip it, I mean sand it down, repaint it, put some uh, updated knobs on it. Like if you get a dresser, change out the knobs, paint it, you know what I mean? You can, you can find a nice dresser at the goodwill for probably about thirty dollars at the most and you can just paint it and make it look brand new y'all spend a little time um flipping furniture you know what i mean like um 
painting your furniture, changing the doorknobs out, um, you know, stuff like that. Check out the antiques and the um, Goodwills and the flea markets and stuff and see if you can find cheap furniture in there. And like I said, try to flip it, paint it, whatever you can. Um, yeah, that's um, a, a nice way to upgrade your home for cheap. The last tip I have for you guys is to stay with the season. And when I say stay with the season, I mean like buy seasonal home decor um right now it's currently fall you should have like your fall um decor out like your pumpkins and your hay bales and your um fall flowers and all that kind of stuff fall is my favorite time of the year i love to decorate for fall it's, it's my absolute favorite i love the fall y'all because i love fall colors um buy you some throw pillows this like fall color buy your throw blanket that's like a fall color that to incorporate in your living room um buy fall pictures you can go to the dollar store they have nice fall pictures they have nice fall home decor for like five bucks at the most y'all i'm telling y'all do not sleep on dollar general go to walmart get these just cheap, cheap stuff. go to tj maxx and look at this stuff y'all they have really really nice stuff for cheap um so yeah, just staying with the season is another way to um, uh, upgrade your home for cheap, y'all. Um, that is pretty much it, y'all. It's not hard at all. I promise y'all it's not. I thought the same thing. Like, am I just not a home decorating type person? You know, and sometimes I decorate my house and I be like, it's, I thought it was cute, but it really ain't cute. You know what I mean? But get on Pinterest. Get you some ideas and DIY this stuff. Get on YouTube. Look at some DIY views. They have Buku videos here on YouTube that will teach you how to um, make a bed from scratch. Um, make furniture, any type of furniture from scratch. Teach you how to paint, how everything you need to know is on YouTube. And you guys already know that. Go to these flea markets. Get this cheap furniture. Get on YouTube. Look at some videos and do that yourself, y'all. It is not hard to have to upgrade your home yourself without spending a lot of money, y'all. Um, if you add up everything, of course, it's going to be a lot of money. But just remember, it, it's your home and it doesn't have to be done overnight. So, you know, if you can't you know afford to do every room at one time do not do every room room at one time i don't recommend that i recommend working in one room at a time getting it exactly how you want it and moving on to the next room like i said it's your home so you know you're not in a rush to you know get it done overnight so you know it takes time and each and we already know like each season we're going to be changing stuff out so that is pretty much all the tips that I have for you guys. I want to say thank you for coming back to watch my channel again. I'm very grateful, y'all. I hope these tips helped you guys. I hope you gained some knowledge from this. I hope you guys get the spark and the get up and go to go ahead and do what you want to do for your home to get it the way you want it to look. Um, and I will got, catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. I